Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best PS5 monitors. Starting at number 5. Gigabyte M27Q. Consider the Gigabyte M27QP if you're looking for a budget monitor. Like the Dell Alienware AW2724DM, it also has a 1440p resolution, but the main difference is that it's a step down in gaming performance. The biggest trade-off is the slower response time at high refresh rates, but the overall motion handling is still great. It doesn't support VRR with the PS5 either, but besides that, it works as expected, as it supports 1080p and 1440p games up to 120Hz and 4K games up to 60Hz. However, without HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, you can't play 4K at 120Hz games on it. Despite its low cost, it offers a few extra features to improve your gaming experience. It has different crosshairs available that you can use to give you a competitive advantage in FPS games, and it also has a black equalizer mode that makes it easier to see your opponents in dark areas. It even has a backlight strobing feature to improve the appearance of motion, but it only works with fixed 120Hz signals with the PS5, as you need to enable VRR for it to continue working at lower refresh rates. Coming at number 4. Alienware AW2724DM. If you still find the Gigabyte M27U out of your price range, you can save money by getting a lower resolution monitor, like the Dell Alienware AW2724DM. While it has a 1440p resolution that results in less detailed images than the 4K display on the Gigabyte, there are a few advantages to getting a lower resolution display. As many games struggle to maintain high frame rates with a 4K resolution, a lower 1440p resolution makes reaching higher refresh rates easier for a more fluid gaming experience. Regardless, the Dell still downscales a 4K at 60Hz image, which is more detailed than native 1440p, and unlike other 1440p monitors, it also supports HDMI forum VRR to reduce screen tearing with the PS5. Fast-moving objects have minimal motion blur thanks to the monitor's fast response time at any refresh rate, and it also has a flicker-free backlight that helps reduce image duplication. This monitor does have one downside that causes some text clarity issues, but that's only a concern when reading text, like when you're going through gaming menus. If this is important, consider the LG 27GP850B-27GP83BB, which has better text clarity but doesn't support VRR with the PS5. At number 3. Gigabyte M27U 27-inch. If you want a mid-range monitor for cheaper, consider the Gigabyte M27U. It doesn't have the same proprietary features as the Sony InZone M9, like auto HDR tone mapping, and it has a much worse edge-lit local dimming feature, but this is normal as cheaper monitors tend to have worse picture quality. Still, it's excellent for gaming thanks to its fast response time, making your favorite games look crystal clear with very little blur behind fast-moving objects. It's fully compatible with everything the PS5 offers, supporting 4K at 120Hz gaming thanks to its HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. While it supports less HDMI bandwidth than the Sony as it's limited to 24 gigabits per second as opposed to 40 gigabits per second, this doesn't make a difference for gaming with the PS5 as it only has a minor impact on text clarity. On the plus side, it supports VRR, but there are some flicker issues with HDR and VRR on simultaneously with 60 Hz signals. If this bothers you, consider the larger Gigabyte M32U as it performs similarly but doesn't have the same problem. However, it costs more for a larger screen, so the M27U offers the best value. Number 2 of my list. Sony 27-inch InZone. If you want to save some money and still want a high-end option, check out the Sony InZone M9. You don't get the same remarkable picture quality as the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 S32 BG85 because it doesn't have mini LED backlighting. This means it can't display the same deep blacks and bright highlights, 
but the local dimming feature is still okay and helps improve the contrast ratio. If you want something with mini LED backlighting and better picture quality, you can also consider the Inic 27 M2V, but it can sometimes be harder to find. Regardless, the Sony is great for the PS5 because it has a few features only the PS5 can use, like Auto HDR Tone Mapping, which optimizes the HDR performance and settings based on the game. Its design shares similarities with the PS5, meaning it'll look great on your desk next to the console. It also has a great response time with both 120Hz and 60Hz signals, resulting in smooth motion. As expected, it works without issue with the PS5 as it supports HDMI 2.1 bandwidth and VRR to help reduce screen tearing. And number 1. Samsung 32-inch Odyssey. The Samsung Odyssey Neo G8S32BG85 is the best monitor for PS5 that we've tested. It's a fantastic gaming monitor with a 4K resolution that helps deliver sharp images making it the best 4K monitor for PS5. While the console can't take full advantage of the monitor's high 240Hz refresh rate, you can still play 4K games up to 120Hz without issue, thanks to its HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. Its high refresh rate is also great if you plan to connect a gaming PC alongside the console. However, if that isn't important to you, the Samsung Odyssey Neo G7S32BG75 has a 165Hz refresh rate, performs similarly, and tends to cost less. When gaming at 120Hz, the Neo G8 delivers a fantastic gaming experience, with almost no noticeable blur behind fast-moving objects. Its VRR support also works with the PS5 to reduce screen tearing. If you care about picture quality, you'll be happy to know that it displays deep blacks, and its mini-LED local dimming feature helps further improve the contrast in dark scenes. It also gets bright enough in HDR to make larger highlights pop for a great HDR gaming experience. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.